You hear the chime and see the master caution. Extinguish the master caution. The amber caution and associated procedure are displayed on the engine warning display. The hydraulic ECAM page is automatically presented on the system display. On the EWD, read the title of the failure. Observe the amber overheat indication next to the green reservoir on the hydraulic ECAM page. On the hydraulic panel, the green engine one pump fault and PTU fault lights are illuminated on the push button switch. These indications provide a cross check of the ECAM and locate the switches to be actuated in the abnormal procedure. The pilot flying will ask you to perform the ECAM action. Perform the first ECAM action. The following indications show that the PTU is switched off. Push button switch white off light. ECAM hydraulic page PTU indication in amber. Continue ECAM actions. Also note that the blue action item disappears when the action is performed. The following indications show that the green engine one pump has been switched off. Push button switch off light. ECAM hydraulic page green engine one pump has changed from green inline to amber cross line. Notice the pressure indication is dropping. Again, notice that the blue action item has disappeared. The ECAM caution, green engine one pump low pressure, appears amber on the EWD to indicate that the green engine one pump is not producing pressure because you switched it off. The green system pressure continues to drop. The corresponding ECAM caution, green system low pressure, is displayed on the engine warning display to indicate that the green system is no longer pressurized. The abnormal is boxed to indicate that this is a primary failure with associated secondary failures. At the same time, on the system display, the green system pressure and line change from green to amber to indicate that the green system is no longer pressurized. In addition, the green system indication changes from white to amber, indicating the loss of green system pressure to the users. The abnormal procedure is complete. After review and confirmation from the pilot flying, clear hydraulics. The ECAM flight control page is automatically displayed for review. On the ECAM flight control page, you can see secondary effects of the hydraulic failure. For example, some spoilers are affected by the green system failure. After review and confirmation from the pilot flying, clear flight control. Observe that the amber flight control secondary failure has disappeared. The ECAM wheel page is displayed automatically. Nose wheel steering is inoperative due to the failure of the green hydraulic system. After review and confirmation from the pilot flying, clear wheel. The status page is displayed showing approach procedures inoperative systems and aircraft information. After review and confirmation from the pilot flying, clear status. ECAM complete, screens normal. Notice that the STS reminder is now displayed at the bottom of the EWD. During the approach briefing, you will recall the status page to review the approach procedure. If you fail to do so, the status page will be automatically called up as soon as the flap handle is moved to flaps 1. Call the status page. 
Notice that the approach procedure gives two conditions. Confirm on the overhead panel which condition applies. Observe that the fault light is extinguished, indicating that the green reservoir overheat no longer exists. Perform the appropriate procedure. Turn on the green pump. Continue applying the procedure by switching the PTU back on. The green hydraulic system is restored. The status page shows normal for a few seconds. Then the ECAM system display automatically reverts to the cruise page. Let's look briefly at another reservoir problem that can result in a similar situation. This failure is indicated by hydraulic green reservoir low air pressure on the EWD and the display of the amber low air pressure message next to the affected reservoir. Notice this procedure and the indications are similar to those in the previous example, green reservoir overheat. With this malfunction, it is also possible to recover the system using the approach procedure. We will assume the ECAM actions are complete. On the engine warning display, read the title of the failure. Observe the level indication of the yellow reservoir. The reservoir level indicator has changed to amber because the fluid is below the warning level. Perform the first ECAM action. Switch off the PTU. The following indications show that the PTU is switched off. Push button switch white off light. ECAM hydraulic page PTU indication in amber. Notice that the blue action line has disappeared from ECAM. Continue ECAM action. Switch off the yellow engine driven pump. The following indications show that the yellow engine 2 pump has been switched off. Push button switch off light. ECAM hydraulic page yellow engine 2 pump has changed from green inline to amber cross line. Again note, the blue action line has disappeared from ECAM. The ECAM caution, yellow engine 2 pump low pressure, appears amber on the engine warning display to indicate that the yellow engine 2 pump is not producing pressure because you switched it off. The yellow system pressure continues to drop. The corresponding ECAM caution, yellow system low pressure, is displayed on the engine warning display to indicate that the yellow system is no longer pressurized. At the same time, on the ECAM hydraulic page, the yellow system pressure changes from green to amber. In addition, the yellow system indication changes from white to amber, indicating the loss of yellow system pressure to the users. The flight control secondary failure is displayed. The abnormal procedure is complete. The hydraulic system is analyzed. After review and confirmation from the pilot flying, you can clear hydraulic. The ECAM flight control page is automatically displayed for analysis. Now the status page is displayed for review. ECAM complete. Screens normal. We are still in cruise. Let's look at a second system failure, blue system, which will lead to a red warning. We will restore the blue system using the Ram Air Turbine.
the rat. On the EWD, read the title of the failure. Notice that this is a red warning. In addition, land ASAP appears in red to indicate the serious nature of the failure. Observe on the ECAM hydraulic page, the blue electric pump indication changes from green inline to amber low, indicating that the blue electric pump has failed. Notice the system pressure is below normal limits. On the hydraulic control panel, the amber fault light is eliminated on the blue electric pump switch. This provides a cross-check of the ECAM, the location of the push-button switch. First, lift the red guard. Perform ECAM action. Extend the rat. On the ECAM hydraulic page, observe the rat symbol has changed from hollow white to solid green indicating that the rat is extended. Notice that the pressure has increased. The minimum rat speed is 140 knots. Note, once deployed, the rat can only be restowed by maintenance on the ground. As soon as the rat has pressurized the blue system, the dual hydraulic system low pressure no longer exists and we are back to a single hydraulic failure situation, yellow system low pressure. Observe that the blue system indication on the ECAM hydraulic page changes from amber to white. The system is pressurized by the rat and available for the users. To perform the next ECAM action, you must first lift the guard on the blue electric pump. Lift the guard. Perform ECAM action. On the system display, the amber low indication is replaced by an amber cross line indication to indicate that the pump is off. After review and confirmation from the pilot flying, clear hydraulics. The flight control page is automatically displayed to analyze the effects of the primary hydraulic failure. For example, the right elevator is affected by the yellow system low pressure. Once reviewed and after confirmation from the pilot flying, clear flight control. Now the status page is displayed for review. Notice rat out has reappeared because the flight control secondary failure indication which had priority has been cleared. After review and confirmation from the pilot flying, clear status. ECAM complete. Screens normal. Now let's see other abnormal indications which can be displayed on the ECAM hydraulic page. If the rat symbol changes to amber, a fault has been detected in the rat. If an electric pump overheat is detected, the symbol changes from hollow white to a solid amber. Electric overheat in amber is displayed adjacent to it.